good afternoon. Uh, thank you for attending uh, the presentation. Actually, uh, due to the short time, I will just uh, introduce Steelwood. We're the uh, first uh, recycling entity in the GCC that takes uh, construction waste residuals and uh, residues of palm and palm leaves uh, into an environmental product. And um, I'll tell you how the story started. Because as do uh, other, still does have other inventions as well. Um, I'll tell you how the story started from the history. Steelwood is a research-based company. We started from research and I've become a managing partner due to the inventions that now are part of Steelwood's uh, uh, ownership. So to start, think of Steelwood Industries as a very big experiment. With the success of this phase, operations, we not only plan to convert the GCC to countries manufacturing wood for their local demands in the market, but also to converting the GCC to export wood panels to the world. Such a success will have a very positive effect on the economics, agriculture, industry, labor, construction and planning, along with the respective ministries who are focusing our efforts to establish a new industry in the GCC that thinks most of these major sectors all of this is starting from the heart of the GCC, the United Arab Emirates, and that's why we call it the miracle of the desert. The story of this started with a catastrophe in Mecca. So I started doing research. Uh, and now we have, we have released a new product in the market. It's called SDB. It is not particle board and it's not MDF due to the mechanical properties it can develop and give. Okay, it has, uh, it's 100% recycled. It has very high mechanical properties in there. The emissions in it is, are E0. We can do a range from 88, from 8 mm to 44 mm. When you look at, for example, the E0 of this recycled material, you can reach up to 0.005 which is the new standard for the urea formaldehyde. So it's a very low VOC material, which can give you, I'll talk later about the lead points which can evolve from this, all right? Um, same we have, this is the, pro, the specifications for the 18mm, 
Again, the emission is less than 0 0.005 for VOCs and healthy homes. Same for the 44 mm. And what we did here, we did a comparison between the SDB and the, the best, uh, we did the comparison between the SDB and all actually the products in the market. And here we have the best uh, competitor that in, in particle board and in MDF, the uh, density do not have it mentioned on a 12 mm. Uh, whereas our density is from 700 to 900, the internal bond is 0 0.61. We reached up to 5.2 and also 7.5. In the American books, the maximum you can get, the books that teach wood is a maximum of 1.1. Wood cannot reach over one. Uh, the hardest wood is a 0 0.7, 0 0.8. We can reach up to 5.2 and 7.5. This means if on the 12 mm, if you spread the load, on a 12 mm sheet, for it to cut in half, we can reach up to 2,800 tons compared to the 0 0.2, which is 100 tons. So that's how strong it is, and at the same time, it's elastic, and I'll show you some more. You go in the elasticity, it's greater than 2,500, where we can reach up to 4,600. Models of rupture, we're over 40 compared to 22. Um, I'm talking about the the highest brands in the market. They, they, there is no standard for the face and screw. Our screw can reach up to 1,700 1, newtons on the 12 and up to 2,000. That's about 200 kg. Actually, it's more. It's a, we can reach up to 450 kg on the edge screw on a 12 mm. Okay, we have pictures there. You can see us. We have engines being hanging in one screw. It's very durable, yes, it's very soft. It's really the fiberglass of wood which you can mold it and play with it as much as you want. Okay, it can be painted, laminated, veneered, CNC'd. You can take it on a, on a huge amount of applications, right? Doors, whatnot, and all of these I'm going to recycle so we can touch on lead later. So we can give you economical lead points at the end, which is a sustainable system. Now, from this, another product evolved, which is called the gas solid. It is really gas solid, but gas solid is taken. It's really the solid that behaves as gas. We know that gases are compressible. Liquids and uh, solids are not. So it's really a solid that behaves as gas. It is compressible, and it's expand it also expands. And we have the, the cylinder there in the corner next to you. And what is that? Well, that's a revolutionary disruptive technology where you can reach up to uh, towers as fast. You can build a high tower, depending on engineer, two kilometer tower, three kilometer tower. You design it. It exceeds the tension matrix of, uh, and compression matrix of steel and concrete. All right? That's a set that cylinder we have inside as per standard. It's 300 by 150. That's the standard size. I'll show, you it and show it to you. You have it under the press. The same press is inside. You can you can see it live in just next door, right? This is subject to 80 tons. This same sample has been tested only the past two days over, you can count the business cards we have. And it's, it's been counted, it's been tried at least twice or three times per business card, not to mention what was tested in steelwood industries. This is the replacement of concrete and steel. We then we decided, let's demonstrate it in the future series show. So we did a new savant. Nusavan is the name of my wife, Nisreen, so I gave her a, a brand name now, right? And it's really, uh, Nusavan in Finnish means the emerging, the sunrise. So it's like the emerging of the bull, all right? And what it does, you can do homes, refugee homes, um, SIPs. We have products in England now, they're approaching us. Anything, anything you, your imagination can take you. This is all made from PCS and SDB together. The structure, the beams. And this is really the world's most environmental caravan ever built. It's 100% recycled. It's solar. I do not need to connect it anywhere. If I time my energy way, uh, usage correctly, I can live alone in the desert. I don't need anything other than water. And I'll find a way to collect water in one day. <laughs> now, other things for steel wood, we wanted to do it in steel wood. It's called the SWE cool. It's really an energy system that allows you to create, use the geological uh, material around you and to create cooling energy almost free. Okay, you can count on uh, solar, 
or you can count on existing fans in your building. And we try to do it and steal with industry site itself. Unfortunately, the person there in charge to give the approval didn't see it anywhere in the world. Okay, so he didn't pass it. I told him I'm the one paying for it. It's already on my site. If there's any problem, I will have to pay for it again. He refused it. But now again, it's alive. And it will take you to, uh, to really clear energy in case there's a water power failure or in case you have an existing building, for example. Uh, I'll show it to you in reality. This is the testing. This is where Steelwood is correct currently now. This is our site in 2012. Okay, it's really, that's your air intake and that's your cold air coming out. And I made cells to test it, but when you redo it in reality, you do not need any of these. Only the intake and uh, exhaust. The exhaust, we tried it over May, June, July, August and September. The temperature in was about ranging from 45 to 55 degrees. The soil temperature was 65 degrees using the infrared uh, detector. The temperature output remained constant 27 degrees. At the end of August, it reached 27.9. Now, what can we do with this? It's two things. In case there's a power failure, this is a must in this, in, in this region. You will put it next to homes and you just directly divert the air into the, house, the villa where you can at least survive until the, may, the power failure is fixed. Or when there is no power failure, you will connect the exhaust to your um, compressor on your roof. And then your compressor, you will food the compressor. You will tell your compressor you're cooling at 27 degrees, not at 55 degrees. So it becomes more efficient. You save bills. You reduce carbon dioxide from DIWA. And you reduce your bill. And your AC will behave more efficient. There are a lot of things we can talk about for sustainability. Another thing is plastics. Also uh, plastics for uh, environmental plastics, actually. Very strong, very durable. This is what I do, really. I, we do machines on tables, and we create uh, we, the variables and the constants there, and we know how to develop the, the technology. All right? This number right here to the conventional one should be 50 degrees. It's 167 from a third party. Actually, it's 220 even for the same cheap which is cheap resin they use, but it exceeds. You can, it really substitutes steel. Next project will be steel plastic industries, plastic to the power of steel. Um, this take, can be taken to 3D printing. You can do a full pipe. Um, we're cities where there are now, there's climate change, uh, rain coming all over. So you, you don't have to wait 20 years to put that infrastructure back because the cost is transport of pipes. You can open the trench do the 3D printing because the chemistry now allows me to do it. Okay. Now, this is another product making uh, from uh, also wood recycled from palm trees. Every palm tree, uh, we didn't release this yet because we're just now releasing the SDB. Every palm tree releases 10 kg of uh, leaves per year. So in the Emirates, according to 2009, there are uh, two, uh, 40 million palm trees. By 10, 400 million kgs of wood. An average board is 40 kg, 10 million boards without cutting a single tree. And the consumption of the year is 2 or 3 million, well then export the rest. And the construction with residual, you can convert the UAE and GCC to the world's most and biggest supplier of wood without cutting a single tree. Something that uh, uh, the most optimistic fortune tellers couldn't predict. Okay, another product starting from the beginning, the Makkah fire. We have another product also to release. The other one was called Akmam. Akmam. So the Berdan is the anti-fire revolution as well, released once we finish with SDB. This material will not burn, will not smoke, will not afterglow. Uh, fire safety is not limited to the rich. Fire safety starts from the poor areas. Now we look at our five-star hotels, put a fire door there. This can be taken to refugee camps. This can be taken to places where people uh, don't know, they're not, they're not culture doesn't know to tell them the difference between fire and no fire. That's the place for it. This is a project done to the King of Bahrain, sun, with the King of Bahrain's sun, recycling pipes and steel with a car from, from nothing, okay? from this to this. So from nothing to value.
all right? Then this can be, I'm throwing where it can take us. There are a lot of things that Steelwood has. One thing for the wood and PCS uh, to close, I know she's looking at me and she's gonna, trying to stop me east and west. Even these homes from SDB and the PCS can be taken to places where there are tsunamis with a correct design. You can make a home that if a wave comes in, you lift the family and at least you save 10% of those who are gonna die. Just lift them and take them another side and then they move with their home. It's wood, it floats. So the opportunities are a miracle. Now, more things about lead with the time given with the, I'm trying to summarize 20 years of what has been done in 10 minutes. We're next door. Thank you very much.